This thing weighs a ton. Welcome to the horror next door. In this video, we're going to be talking about Fangoria. Before the internet came along and practically killed print media, magazines were pretty much the only way to get info and behind the scenes photos at new and upcoming releases of horror movies. Fangoria was one of those publications. When I was a young boy, I would sometimes spend the day at my grandmother's house being watched while my mom worked. At the time, my uncle still lived there. My uncle was in the horror and would let me watch his movies, which consisted of VHS tapes. Those were some good times. On top of this, he had a subscription to Fangoria. So not only would I watch all of his horror movies, falling in love with the Friday the 13th series along the way, but I would sit and look through all of his Fangoria magazines, taking in all the blood and guts those pages had to offer. Years went by, I grew up and fell more in love with the horror genre. He has since got married and has a family of his own, but he never threw away his Fangoria magazine collection. For years, they sat in a box in my grandmother's attic. I've always told him that if he ever wanted to get rid of them, that I would take them off his hands. But I think it was just wishful thinking on my end. I never truly thought that it would ever happen. So that brings us to today. My grandmother's attic was recently cleaned out, and my uncle decided that he didn't want his Fangoria magazines anymore, and gave them all to me. After going through the whole box, I counted 158 issues. What surprised me is that there were a lot of issues that were dated after the year 2000. If I had guessed, I thought he would have stopped his subscription by then, or just stopped buying them. In this video, I'll be showing off our favorite covers. But leave us a comment below if you're interested in a video of us showing off every cover in this box. This is the only Freddy Krueger cover in the entire box. It was for Wes Craven's New Nightmare. It's from October 1994. This issue right here. That's the only Freddy Krueger one, so if I want to get more, I'm going to have to get on the old eBay and look for them. Uh, the only Texas Chainsaw Massacre cover was from Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. And this was from September 2006. Um, there were two... Hellraiser covers, one from October 1988, Hellraiser 2, which is a fantastic movie. This is a very old issue of Fangoria. It's got a little wear and tear to it, but it's still intact. I love this cover. The other one is from April 1995. Hellraiser Bloodline. Hellraiser 4 Bloodline. Not a huge fan of that film, but still, she looks cool with her head all cut open. Those are the only two Hellraiser covers. But I got a few... Michael Myers or Halloween covers here. We got Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers from October 1995. I like Halloween 6. I like the way his mask looked. Then we had Halloween Resurrection kind of sharing the cover here with Eight-Legged Freaks, which I don't really like, but it's Halloween nonetheless. This is from July 2002. Dangertainment. Then we got Rob Zombie's Halloween, which I like that mask. I like how it turned out. 
August 2007. Cool cover there. Then they have Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 from August 2009. And then we got some random covers here. This one is from July 1998, but it's got the Beyond on the cover and it looks really freaking cool. Got the tall man up here too. And this cover, this is a 150th issue from January 1996, and it's got the Crypt Keeper on the front. Bordello of Blood, Tales from the Crypt. Thought that was cool. And then we got one from May 1994, Brain Scan. Hellcat loves this movie, and I had never seen it until I met her and she made me watch it. And it's actually really freaking cool. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Video game nightmare. Then I thought this cover was just brutal. August 1997. I'm surprised they were able to put this out. <laughs> Event Horizon. Could you imagine not knowing what any of this is? You know, you don't experience horror movies. You're not into that whole thing. And you're walking through the magazine store and you see this. And you're like, what the fuck? But yeah. Great movie, by the way. Then uh, from, oh, that's cool. We got some ads here. August 2005, The Devil's Rejects cover. I thought this looked pretty cool. So you're probably wondering, where are all the Jason covers? Where are all the Friday the 13th covers? You do a lot of Friday the 13th Jason mask unboxings. You gotta have some Friday the 13th covers. Geez, well, Jason X is one of the covers, May 2002, Jason X, Uber Jason on the cover. Then we got Freddy vs. Jason from August 2003, and I don't know what is going on on the inside of that. But, Freddy vs. Jason, who will win, who will die, great cover there. And then the other one, I only had three of them in there, from, this one's got ads, and then from February of 2009, we got the remake. Badass looking Jason sitting on the cover there. So I went online and there was like a good dozen or so Friday the 13th covers. So I'm going to, it's going to be a separate video altogether. I'm going to collect the rest of the Friday the 13th covers and make a video about it. So stick, stay tuned to that. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please give us a like. Please consider subscribing. Um, if you have any fond memories of Fangoria, please leave a comment down below telling us all about it, or any horror movie magazine for that matter. And until next time, thanks for watching.